today we are decluttering my lip collection. So this is a huge collection. I have two full Muji drawers of lipstick and two of these towers and one full of this container and also and also two of these little containers. So the goal for today's declutter is first decluttering things that's too old because I have collected makeup for over eight years. Some of my makeup is definitely very old. And the second is the things that I don't reach for. Of course, with such a big collection, it's overflowing and I don't know what I have. So a lot of things I wasn't really reaching for. And I'm gonna get rid of those. And the last is I'm not gonna declutter just to declutter. Like just to having a good declutter and decluttering things that I enjoy. I'm just, no matter it's like re reasonable or not reasonable, I'm just gonna hold on to things that I actually like. So yeah, let's just begin with these little containers. I don't think I will declutter much from these because I think like these little containers, I basically like put things that I will, I will use in here, so. But this Dior one, it's like a matte lip balm. I guess I can find a use for this. And I love Dior lip formulas, so I think I want to hold on to this. This one, th this one I'm almost done. This is just a must, as much as I have. So I'm not going to declutter this. I'm just going to use it up and get rid of it. So keeping this, keeping, should I keep this? I mean, it's pretty new. But I guess I have enough lip gloss. I don't know, should I keep this? I think I should keep this in the maybe pile. <laughs> These two I'm keeping just because am I keeping them? I mean I I said I am keeping just because I use a lot of them but they are pretty old so I don't think I should keep them yeah I think I should just throw them away and, it, and I don't know if you can tell I actually got good use out of them like this one I used up I use up quite a bit of it so yeah I'm getting rid of this I think this is over five years old okay getting rid of that this is also the a Dior like matte balm thing uh, it's in their lip glow collection this just don't show on my skin at all like a matte balm that don't show color on your lip it's just useless so yeah getting rid of that these three little mini lip tint from Romand is actually very good I'm gonna hold on to these why they are so sticky this is YSL I think like a lip tint sort of thing I think I'm gonna get rid of this because it's I just don't reach for it getting rid of this clay de gloss don't reach for it and I think I'm just throwing away this uh, Maybelline lipstick it's too old and I used quite a bit of it as you can see and these so juicy gloss I actually like them so I think I want to keep them and this I'm throwing away it's too old and I use quite a bit 
of it. And this is from a Japanese drugstore brand called Coffee Door. I mean, <laughs> this kind of color I just don't use anymore. And these are old. Getting rid of that. And this pomegranate gloss are actually quite good. I'm keeping that. And also this so juicy gloss. Why it's keep focusing on this? Okay, let, let's just ignore that. It's a declutter video. And this is um, ColourPop Ultra Stain. Ultra Satin, no stain, satin lip. I think this is a collaboration between Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And it's a very pretty color. I want to, I want to keep this. And this is gloss from Canmake. I don't know if you can see, I use quite a bit of it. But it's pretty old, so throwing that away. These two. Um, yeah, I'm getting rid of these two as well. I'm not using them. And this is a MAC Versi Color Stain in the shade Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I guess, I I think I should just get rid of it because I don't reach for it. And this is a color, I think this is a, like a multi-stick, like a multi-color, no, multi-stick that you can use on your eyes, lips, and cheeks and such. Do I keep this? I mean, it seems like it's still working, but I think I should get rid of it because I just don't use it. And these Tower 28 gloss are super nice. I am um, holding on to it. And this Rimmel lipstick. I actually used a, quite a bit of it, as you can see. I mean, as a lipstick, that's, that's just a lot. Um, do I hold on to it? I mean, it smells like super nice. This is the maybe pile. Okay, so this container is empty. I think I am getting rid of over half of it. I'm doing better than I thought. Okay. This little thing, I don't know if I would get rid of any of these because these are actually products I use in daily. So, and also like something like this, I am like literally just close to done with it. Just only this much is left in. So I think I'll just hold on everything into it. And pretty much a lot of it is still not freshly new, but kind of new. Well, I, I don't think I should keep this. <laughs> this is a thing that's very old. Let's get rid of it. But the others, I think I am... Um, yeah, I pretty much use all of it. So, yeah. Oh no, but this one is old as well. And as you can see, I use a lot of it up. It's, it's old. Let's get rid of it. Oh, I'm doing I'm doing better than I thought. And like something like this, I can just easily finish it. So, and this as well. I think I'm just gonna use in use them up. And a lot of other things in here is just like I said, something I use in daily. So, let me organize this a little bit. Okay, I'll, I will organize it later. <laughs> Let me pull one of these big Muji drawers out. The first drawer. The Mac ones. Let me see. These two wet and well gloss, I just never use it. Getting rid of that. Two Revlon little stick that they're, the old font is rubbing off. I think I'm getting rid of getting rid of these. These are pretty old. And I want to hold on to this, even though I don't think this is new like at all. But I 
do want to have that color. Um, I am gonna get rid of all of these L'Oreal lip color. Never use them. And I do want to hold on to my Urban Decay lipstick because they are they are pretty nice actually. These two are from Wet n Wild. I think I'm gonna hold on to it. They are actually as affordable as they are. They are pretty good. Okay, let me see all of these MAC lipsticks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna get rid of Morange and keep the shade Chili and get rid of Impassioned. Also getting rid of Vegas Walt and Coral Bliss and I am gonna keep and I am gonna keep Ruby Woo. I'm only keeping like this much. I'm doing quite well. I'm putting them back for now and I will um, kind of arrange them differently later. So these are all the declutter pile. And the second drawer. This Jue one is super old. Let me get rid of it. These two Fenty lip colors, I never use them. I mean, if I never use them, I might as well just get rid of them. And same with this overall one, never use it. And the two Dose of Color liquid lipstick, never use it. I think liquid lipstick, I just, I just rarely use them. And this two Jue one, they are too old. Getting rid of that. These two are hard. Do I? Let me get rid of it. <laughs> what am I kidding? Never use them. And these two, um, Kat Von D Beauty, getting rid of them as well. And this Charlotte Tilbury one, I actually don't use this one as well. It's a good color, but I think I only use it once. <laughs> and never touch it. These four I am um, keeping. I just, uh, I think I bought them like last year and I actually don't want to get rid of every one, single one of my liquid lipstick because sometimes I use, I do use them, just not as frequent as like gloss or something like that. Oh, I'm doing way better than I thought. Like this drawer is basically empty. The third drawer is like this. The soup ones I am keeping. But this one, the uh, clay de pole, I'm gonna get rid of. This one, do I keep? Mm, I think I want to keep this one. I don't have a color like that. I mean, I won't say I don't have a color like that. I rarely have a color like that. Okay, these two are like from the Japanese drugstore. I never use them. And these two are from the brand Makiage. They are also sold at the drugstore in Japan, but they are more of a high-end price. They are under the Shiseido umbrella. I do like their formula, but I just don't use for them. The, I don't. I just don't reach for them, and this one as well. Oh, I am already getting rid of this full container and half of another. I am doing really. I'm really doing way better than I thought. This Jue one I'm getting rid of is too old. I think that's over five years. And these two are from Can Make. I do like them, but I don't use them that much. So getting rid of that. And hmm. let me check this. This is a pretty nice color. It's from Clay Depot. Let me hold on to it. 
and this is another drug. Uh, this is another high-end brand from Japan. It's called Shika or Kika. Oh, I think it's Kika. And does it smell bad? I mean, it smells like nothing. So I guess it's still good. I'm tr gonna try to use it up. And the packaging is so chic and cute. And there's like a rhinestone here. And it's like a glossy white packaging. So chic. And all of these um, shoe wimmer ones. I think I want to keep one or two, but not all of them. Let me check the color. This is a pretty burnt orange. This is a pink. Mm, I guess I won't use this one. Getting rid of this. And what is this color? Hmm, this is a quite nice mauve color. I th and there's another limited edition one. Hmm, I think I'm keeping this three. I'm not doing as well at this drawer, but I think this drawer I just like better, and I am. I mean, at least getting rid of half of it. Okay, these drawer are mainly from Dior. Let me see. This one is too old to use. Throwing that away. This two, I don't know. I think I'm getting rid of them. First of all, I don't use them. And also, they are a little bit patchy on the lip. Getting rid of that. Um, do I do I hold on to this? Hmm, I guess it's a nice nude color. I can keep this. It's their lipstick. Hmm, I have a lot of this kind of color. I think I want to get rid of that. It's in the shade eight. Hmm, this is a pretty, pretty red. I want to keep this. This is one of their, like, cool tones, limited edition color. I don't know, should I keep this one out? I think I should get rid of it, because I just never reach for it. Another one, I think this is in the same collection, and I just don't use them. So, getting rid of that. This is way too old, I think, to use, especially on the lips. So yeah, I'm getting rid of this. And this too. I think I want to keep them. Yeah, the color and the formula is pretty nice on these two. I'm, I'm only keeping four in this drawer. Oh, this wimpy color is super nice. I don't have something like that. Only keeping four on this drawer. I think I am gonna organize this later, definitely. This drawer is pretty full and pretty old. First, this four I bought quite a long time ago. Let me let me check. In my memory, they should be smelling like like a watermelon or like peppermint or something like that. They smell like rubber and peppermint. I think that means they are going bad, so I think I'm throwing that away. Nobody should use them anymore. And these two are from Estee Lauder. I mean, the color is nice, but they are old. 
they smell okay, but they are really old. I think this maybe like six years or something like that. Throwing that away. The these are the Golan like kiss something. I mean, there's too too much scent on my hand. It smells like okay, but should I keep them? That's the question. I guess I should just get rid of it. I never use it. That that's the sign that I should get rid of them. The pomegranate lip color. I don't think I want to keep every one of them. Let me see. I want to keep Elson. That's a pretty red shade. Very, very nice. And this is Divine Rose. Also the one I want to keep. 1995. Let me see. This one is the shade Letter Red. Letter Red. Oh. It's a nice one piece shade, but I don't think I should keep this. And this is the shade Flash 3. I mean, it's pretty, but since I never used it, I guess I should just get rid of it. So I'm keeping 3. There's a little, little small Burberry lipstick in the mil military red. Hmm. I think I can keep this. These two these two are also from Burberry. I think this is melting. I don't think I should hold on to this. These are all melting. I should get rid of this. I mean, look at the pile I am declaring. I got a little bit ma I got mad. Like, why do I create all of these waste? I think the majority of these are just from the beginning years of me starting to get interested into makeup that I don't know much and everything seems so good and so nice. And when people like literally recommend every single random thing out and I will just buy them. But recent years I'm I feel like I'm doing better. I'm not buying whatever things I am you know seeing. I know now I know what I like and what I will use. So yeah. Actually recent years I'm not buying as much lipstick as nearly as how much I was buying before, so. And this short, I only have five left. And this container is pretty empty right now. I think like, not even half of it is filled. Okay, this drawer is gonna be a little hard because there's some gloss in here and I love glosses. So the first drawer, are like mostly liquefied lipsticks or like lip lacquers. Let me see what I have. I do want to hold on to these little bite ones. They are pretty good. But I'm getting rid of these L'Oreal L'Oreal ones. I don't use them. Why hold on to them? The Drew ones. I think I want to hold on to this lip gloss because I don't have let me let me smell it before. I mean I I feel like it smells like suspicious so I don't think I should hold on to it. Let me just get rid of them. And this next one is actually pretty nice. Holding on to that. This two shoe Wimra one, I just can't get them to work on me. Get rid of them. They are super patchy. And this Chanel, I think this lip and cheek at the same time. I think I'm gonna 
put this in the cheek drawer because I never use them as a lip product and they just get lost into the lip products and these two are Marnie ones they are so patchy I don't know why people even like them so getting rid of these um, these two are money and these two I'm, I think I want to keep these two are pretty nice and there's another NYX intense butter lip gloss I'm holding the formula is pretty nice so this drawer, this is what we are holding on to not too bad, more than half is gone this drawer, do I get rid of any of this? because I love YSL lip products I think I'm just gonna hold on to this because I love them yeah, keeping them and this NARS drawer let me see I should use them more, that's for sure hmm, I don't think I need this color I have a lot of these kind of colors and Audrey this is a pretty um, odd kind of color, I think I want to keep this I don't think I should hold on to this because it smells a little bit suspicious and this one, shade Lana I think I want to keep this, this is a very pretty hot orange shade well, do I keep this? I think I'm gonna get rid of it I do have other these kind of shades this is a nude shade I think I have multiple these kind of nude shades getting rid of that this is another hot pink kind of shade which I don't think I should keep getting rid of this but the rest of them I want to keep because I really like their liquid lipstick formula I think I need to store them standing because I feel like they are leaking in this drawer so yeah let's clean the drawer and this is what we are holding not bad this drawer I feel like this drawer I should just hold on to it to just use them up because I do love lip gloss and I do use them up pretty quickly I don't want to get rid of them get rid of them just to get rid of them so yeah that's this drawer this Muji drawer so this little tower let's bring it a little closer so on the top these two I just want to get rid of these two are from Lancome never use them and these two I think I can keep they are from Pamagrath and they are the like the bomb kind of formula that I think I'm gonna use a little more than others um, these clay the pole lipsticks I do like them I think I want to keep them they are so pretty and I have four of them I should use them more and these gloss from YSL they are pretty good as well I think I should use them more before I get rid of them these I am also holding on to should I keep bring this a little closer yeah okay so the top I am going to I am only getting rid of two <clears throat> but let's see the bottoms hmm these YSL ones let me see 
think I think I want to keep all of them because I do love the formula and a lot of colors are actually quite unique. Let's see the Lancome ones. Okay, let's continue. Had to take a rest because I feel like I was gonna pass out. <clears throat> so these Lancome ones, let's swatch. Mm, not gonna keep this. I feel like I already have this kind of color. And this. Hmm. Don't think I should keep this. And also this one. I guess I'm just gonna get rid of all of three. Because I just don't use them and they are not unique enough for me to keep. And I want to move these three into here. But this one, I don't think I should keep because it's not a unique shade at all and I don't use it. But this Chanel one, I think there's only one that I don't want to keep, which is this one. It's like a shimmery, yeah, a shimmery red. You know what, I don't have something like this. Maybe I should just try this more to decide if I should declutter them or not. Hmm, all of these Lisa Aldridge lipstick. Oh, let me take a look. The Intrigue, Velvet Intrigue I want to keep. And Velvet Fawn, I want to keep. And here is Velvet Blush Lightly, I want to keep. And this is Velvet Muse, let me see. I guess I can keep that. Am I keeping all of these? Dragon Blush Ribbon, I think I'm keeping all of these. Um, these are Burberry lipstick that I never use, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And all of these Givenchy lipsticks, I think I want to keep these because I want to try to use them more. I'm gonna move these two to here and I think that's it because I feel like the rest, the rest of them I use pretty frequently and also the this tower I have two I think I can keep this too because these are the pro the lipsticks that I use constantly even though not all of them but I use them pretty frequently and I think even though I still want to declutter from these two tower I want to use them uh, as I declutter them if I if that makes sense because I I don't want to like I said I don't want to just declutter just to declutter so now let's figure out how to rearrange these things since I took a lot of them out I think I want to yeah these are liquid lipsticks okay This drawer is pretty organized. It's now not overflowing. Let's, like you can see, I still have some room, and it's 
yeah, pretty organized. I'm gonna put this back. So this drawer is pretty much empty. So what should I put in here? Hmm. I have three empty drawers so that I can fit um, single eyeshadow. Let me see if this fits. Oh, this fits pretty, pretty nicely. Want to fit some like glitter kind of things in. So if I am gonna reach for glitter, I can reach for this drawer. I have this another drawer I am holding on to all of my not all of my some of my like toppers and glitters but these are higher like taller every drawer so I think I can fit my Tom Ford ones in here instead of this little container like you can see I am holding on to all of my um Tom Ford cream color duos. You know what? Let me just quickly declutter my toppers and single eyeshadows as well. Um, okay, these two are from Suku. They are very good. Holding on to those. And this Natasha Denon one is actually very good. It's just like hard like a rock. You have to like use a very very hard pressure to get product. I guess I'm just gonna fit all of my Tom Ford in here and check these out. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't use it and I'm gonna hold on to this Urban TK Space Cowboy. It's a very nice one. Um, um, is this even okay? The Stila glitters, they are super pretty, but they dry out super quickly. I guess this is okay. Okay, I'm holding on to this. And these are all single eyeshadows. They are not glitters. So where is my glitters? I think this is a quite a nice kind of storage of my single eyes. Now I'm just simply picking up all of the things that I'm keeping, like the Tom Ford duos and creams and Natasha, no, um, Charlotte Tilbury creams and some uh, Natasha Duna topper. So let's see, is there other things that I want to keep? So this is also a Tom Ford one, it can stay. I have three of Chanel ones, I want to keep one. This is called Fantasme. I don't think they they make this anymore, it's the Illusion Dombre, I believe. It's very pretty, but yeah, they are discontinued, so getting rid of these two, getting rid of these two. This Victoria Big Home one, oh my god, they are hard like a rock. So I don't think I can use this. I have to throw this away. And this is still very good and it's very pretty. It's from Decorte. Holding on to this. So this is and I'm decluttering this. Should I? This is from Clarence. Oh, this is beautiful. I think I should keep this. Let me see. Keeping this. 
I am decluttering this hourglass one. I am decluttering all of my hourglass products. If you want to know why, there's a there's a video there. And I am um, I am decluttering this RMK like duos. I never use it. And decluttering this Shiseido eyeshadow. It's pretty, but I just never use it. And should I keep this or should I get rid of this? This is a cream eyeshadow from Suku. I think I, I want to keep this. But this shouldn't be in this drawer. It should be in the liquid drawer. But I can put this two in this drawer. Mm, it fits pretty nicely. And... To keep this, I just love toppers too much. I want to keep this to Bobby Brown one. They are pretty nice. But should I keep this YSL one? I mean, they are pretty, but I guess I have similar things in my collection as well. Oh, they are really beautiful, but I guess I don't use them. Why hold on to them? And this two. I think I want to keep these two. They are pretty nice. I'm putting them in here. And this I am getting rid of. This I'm getting rid of. This is a like a can make little single eyeshadow. I never use it. This is from Sugar Sugar Pill. It's actually a very pretty eyeshadow. I want to keep I want to put this in some of my like single eyeshadow palettes, not let it in lost into this single eyeshadow drawer. Um this Urban Decay eyeshadow, this is the Solstice one. This one is pretty as well, keeping this, but I think I want to get rid of this one. This is just a normal single eyeshadow from them. It's called Half Baked, I think. This is the shade. They have this shade in their um, original Naked palette, pa original Naked palette, and now I think they don't have this anymore, but this kind of shade is like quite easy to find in a lot of palettes so yeah getting rid of that also getting rid of these two um can make little toppers and getting rid of this little single mac eyeshadow which i barely used let me let me see the color before i before I get rid of it. But it's so beautiful. I think I don't have something like this. I should just keep this and use it more. Let me put it here. Okay, let me put these three here. They are all purples. I love purples. Okay. This is from Armani. I think these are discontinued, but I do want to hold on to this because they are they are very good. I think these are all the things I want to declutter, like little little single ones that I just never use. And <laughs> this Stila one. I think this was super popular like years years ago. The only thing I want to use, I want to keep is this one. It's from Etude House. It's like the same formula with the ColourPop Super Shock, but this is quite nice actually. Let me put this on the glitter topper drawer, which is this. This is a little <laughs> single eyeshadow from Shu Wimura. I'm not keeping this. 
getting rid of that and these little singles from addiction I think let me see I want to keep the glitters because those are very pretty but the rest of them I guess I don't use them why 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 keep them if I don't use them I will just keep the well, maybe also this one. This is a super pretty single matte eyeshadow. I do like. Well, I mean, I, I I'll get rid of this. I don't use this enough and I have plenty of these colors. Okay, I'll just hold on to this because this is a glitter and I really like this one. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. This, these two are from Burberry, Burberry, which I never use, so I'm getting rid of that. I am holding on to this little Dior one. They don't make this anymore. It's their mono eye, mono luster, um, smoky eyeshadow. is in the shade Flexion. It's super pretty, as you can see. I use a lot of it. But they don't make this anymore, so I have to keep this and keep using this. And all of these Chanel single eyeshadows I never use. Finding them a new home, definitely. They are pretty, pretty freshly new. This is, oh I forget about this, this is a very pretty single NARS eyeshadow. I want to get more use out of this. Okay. This is a. Uh, these two are from the brand Excel. I do want to keep them because they are pretty. And I think I would use them. And this is a brand called Cosme Nippon. It's like um, there is a store like Sephora kind of store but in Japan and this is their private brand and I actually really like this so I'm keeping this oh there is more suku this one I really love this is their tone touch tone up hmm? tone touch eyes in the shade 12 from the, uh, from Suku is super nice. Definitely keeping this. And this I never use, and another addiction eyeshadow I never use. <clears throat> Getting rid of that. And this is <clears throat> this is from J Cat. A lot of YouTuber recommended this, and it just don't work on me. It's super flaky. Like, I don't know if you can tell, it's so flaky and yeah, it just doesn't work. I'm getting rid of this. And I don't think I can find a new home for that because it's super dry. So I think I just should throw them away. And these three are from a Japanese drug drugstore called VC. I never use them, so I'm just getting rid of them. And also this Butter London Little Duo, never use it. I think I should find a new home for them. And one more, this is from the, sh the brand Surat. I think this is pretty nice because the top layer, I can use it as a base. So I think I'm gonna keep this. And the rest of them are all um, Colourpop. I think, do I have anything I want to keep? Even though I love them, but I don't use them, I don't use them enough to keep a lot of them. I'm getting rid of Wallows. I am keeping the shade of Villa. This is a very pretty shade. And, and there is 
I think this one I I should get rid of because I don't find my eyeshadow looks very nice when I use it to prime my eyelid. So finding this a new home. And let me see. Oh, this eyeliner is still good. I'm holding on to this to use uh, as an eyeliner, obviously. Let me re arrange these a little bit. Taking these ones out. I'm keeping the shade Frog. This is a very pretty like glitter topper. And I'm getting rid of this Roy G B shade. Never use it. Well, not never, but rarely. And these two, I think these are barely touched. I think I want to find a new home for them. Getting rid of that. And these are, this is the shade Twitter Painted. Don't need that. And shade Party of Five. Let me swatch this. This this looking very pretty. Hmm. I think I'm okay with this. I don't need this. Getting rid of this. And this is in the shade Set Set to Stun. Oh, this is pretty. I think I want I want this one. I think for ColourPop Super Shadows, you just shouldn't buy a lot at once. This is the shade Lala and this is the shade Muse. Both very pretty but I don't think I need them because I have a lot of same shade in the like powder eyeshadows. The shade DGAF. Do I keep this one? Because this is a super pretty one. No, I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> I think a powder eyeshadow in that color will work just as fine. And this is the shade Tea, tea Party. I think this is dried out. I want to, I think and it's like dried out in a way that you cannot save it because all of the sparkles looks like they are gone. So I think this one I should throw away. And that's all of my single eyeshadows. Whoa. And I got rid of a lot of them. Like, I can't show you. Oh, maybe I should show you. Like, can you see, like, this pile? I got rid of this big pile of single eyeshadows. I'm doing pretty good. And... Before, like you saw in the video, these drawers are cluttered full with like lip product, and I have a whole drawer for the like single eyeshadow that is like cluttered in a way that I can't see like everything I have. But I think this way I can see it better, and I don't have that much of like lip product anymore. So, yeah, I think this is good. This is good. So yeah, I think that's for it. I think if I if I have any energy uh, left, I would um, also declutter my brush and nail polish. But today I'm I'm super tired. My throat hurt, so the brushes and nail polish will be um, at another time. I think. Yeah, thank you for watching. It's actually very, I very enjoy this time to declutter. I think maybe I should do this every year so that I know I'm only holding on to the products I really like. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am happy that I did such a successful declutter. Thank you very much. Bye.